Hello and welcome to History Bites 3 Minute Biographies. The subject of today is Rosa Parks, the civil rights leader who stood up to oppression and segregation during the 1950s and 1960s. Rosa Louise McCauley was born in Tuskegee, Alabama on the 4th of February 1913 and was raised on her grandparents' farm in Pineland, Alabama. Rosa attended a local African-American school, but in the 1920s, racism and underfunding meant that getting a good education wasn't easy for African-Americans in the South. Rosa eventually attended the Alabama State Teachers College, but before she could get her high school diploma, her education was cut short when she had to leave school to care for her mother and grandmother. Rosa met and married Raymond Parks in 1932. He was a successful barber in Montgomery, the state capital of Alabama. Even though Rosa worked part-time jobs, it was Raymond who inspired her to return to school. Fun fact, in 1933, Rosa finally earned her high school diploma, but at the time, less than 7% of African Americans had one. During this time, the city of Montgomery, like much of the South, was segregated. This meant that black people and white people had to attend different schools, churches and stores, and sat on different benches, drank from different fountains, and sat in different waiting rooms marked with signs for coloured only or for whites only. The racism in the USA was added to by the constant fear of the KKK, known for lynching African Americans and burning down black schools and churches. Deciding to take action, Rosa joined the National Association for the Advancement of Coloured People. While working as the organization's secretary, Rosa took part in launching investigations into the violence against African Americans. However, Rosa's defining moment came on the 1st of December, 1955, when Rosa settled into her seat on a bus after a hard day's work in her seamstress job. Black people were expected to board the bus at the back and sit at the back, giving priority to white people up front. All the seats soon filled up, and when a white man boarded, the bus driver instructed Rosa to give up her seat, but Rosa refused. The bus driver called the police and Rosa was soon arrested and charged with breaking a segregation law which came with a $10 fine which she also refused to pay. What happened was truly inspirational. A number of African American leaders, one of which was Martin Luther King Jr., got together and decided to boycott the city buses. This meant that as a protest, African Americans would no longer ride the buses and this became known as the Montgomery Bus Boycott. Their boycott put a massive financial strain on the state over the 381 days that it lasted. In the end, the US Supreme Court ruled that the segregation laws in Alabama were unconstitutional. Rosa and those who had taken a stand had forced a change in the law. After this event, Rosa and Raymond moved to Detroit, Michigan, where Rosa continued to attend civil rights meetings. Rosa went on to set up the Rosa and Raymond Parks Institute for Self-Development, which helps educate young people on the civil rights. Even though her health declined in her 70s, Parks continued to make many appearances and devoted considerable energy to good causes. In 1992, Parks published her autobiography, My Story, and along with various streets named after her and honorary doctorates, in 1996 she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Rosa passed away of natural causes on the 24th of October 2005 at the age of 92. She had been prepared to sacrifice her security and her life for the cause of civil rights, and today she's still a symbol of freedom and an inspiration for many who continue the struggle for equality all around the world.